this tutorial, we will create a folding carton with blister pack inserted, as you can see here. For this, we will use Studio as well as Arduos CAD for the structural file. Let's get started. The blister pack we will get from the Shape Store. After accessing the Shape Store, you can search for blister and download the capsule blister pack. Notice this comes with a 3D Collada model as well as a PDF artwork template. The PDF artwork template can be accessed as printable part using the export button. We can export this to a PDF and open it in Adobe Illustrator. In Adobe Illustrator, we will place the Collada file to be able to visualize this in our designer window. Use the Place from Shapes to place the Collada model. Using the designer or visualizer quality, you'll be able to see what this blister pack looks like. Feel free to use the show finishing operations to change the substrate to alter the look and feel of this blister back. Here, I'm changing the back to a foil board. Go ahead and change the scene settings to get the look and feel here after. Hold down the control key to move the lighting environment around the model. Now it's time to export this model to a Collada file in order for us to be able to import this into Ardios CAD and create the folding carton around this model. After saving this Collada file, we can go into Ardios CAD and use the File Open to import this. In order to create a folding carton around this model, we will make sure the model is oriented properly in the X, Y, and Z axis, followed by our bounding box tool. To define the three-dimensional volume, and finally accessing the library to pick the appropriate folding carton for this design. Indicating the length and width, picking the proper model, and here we are. Now we can save this ARD file, go back to Adobe Illustrator, and place this in my document. After adding the graphics, we can visualize this in a designer quality or a visualizer quality. In order to show the blister pack inside the folding carton, we will have to create a scene. In order for that to look realistic, we have to use the Fold Arduous CAD file tool to open the box. Since the structural designer only gave me one view of the closed box. Use the Fold Arduous CAD file tool here in Studio to fold the design in the appropriate fashion. Let's go ahead and start over here. 
turn it and fold it. Make sure to select the appropriate fold angles. Zero degrees will do just fine. Let's continue. Indicate the front view orientation by rotating it minus 180 degrees and saving this ARD file. We can place this back in the document or load it as a scene. Once we have this open folding carton, we can now export it to a Colada file in order to combine it with our Bluster Pack. The application we will use to combine these two is called the Studio Toolkit. Let's start by opening the folding carton, which we just uh, saved as a Colada file, followed by an import into to bring the second model, the blister pack, into this folding carton. Use the transform tool to rotate, scale, and position the blister pack inside the folding carton. As you are doing this, remember your keyboard shortcuts one, two, three, four, and so on, to obtain different views. Command plus or command minus, in case you're working on a Macintosh keyboard, allows you to zoom in and zoom out. And whenever the model uh, is uh, being moved, you will notice yellow lines surrounding the model, indicating that you are snapping to the other object in this case, the folding cart. Let's do some more scaling here. Using my keyboard shortcuts, we can go ahead and position it where we need it, bring it a little bit outside of the package and save this as a Colada file. Let's call it scene combo. This combo scene can be loaded again here in the scene menu to visualize both folding carton as well as blister pack. From here, you can activate the options here in the studio window in order to export to an image or movie sequence. Different visualization qualities, designer, visualizer, or ray trace are available for you. Notice the ray tracing can also be done using the ESCO cloud ray tracing. Hope this helped and good luck.